Hello and welcome. This is Angelo Sir Lopez from Positivity Global, and this is another episode of the Coaching Scenario Series. We're looking for the best and worst uh, in accordance with the ICF rationale about the digital digital credentialing exam. So we're looking about the best between two good scenarios and the worst between two bad scenarios. And together with me today, there is we have welcome Eleni, who is our Hello, coaching everyone. coordinator. Hi, Eleni. Hello. And of course, Eva Tsigu. Welcome, Eva. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Nice to be here. Yeah. Eva is a credentialed coach with the ICF, and of course, she's also a certified mentor coach and a tutor in our coaching certification programs. Uh, and we're glad to have yet another episode together with Eva. Uh, so how do you feel today? Are you ready to go and looking at scenarios? Yeah, I'm ready to go hunting. <laughs> yeah, seeking for the truth. So how about bringing up the first one? Let's go ahead. Okay. Let me share. Oh, what have yeah. you got? Oh, wow. Our first scenario for today. A client confides in you about a personal ethical dilemma they are facing at work. They are torn between loyalty to their employer and their personal values. The client feels pressured by their supervisor to engage in an ethical behavior that violates their moral compass. And we have the options. Response A. It's important to always prioritize your employer's interests. Response B. You should follow your gut and do what feels right. Response C, let's explore the options available to you and consider the potential consequences of each. We can also discuss strategies for addressing the situation with your supervisor. And response D, I'll help you develop a plan to address the situation without compromising your ethical principles. We can also explore resources or support groups that can provide additional guidance. Can we look at the scenario uh, in the beginning again, Eleni? Because I think they are torn between loyalty to their employer and their own personal values, and the client, our client, feels pressured by their supervisor. So it's not a coaching supervisor; it's the client supervisor at work to engage in an ethical behavior that violates their moral compass. Okay, so now we can understand, I think we can understand what is the ethical dilemma of the client uh, being pressured or steered by the supervisor to do something they don't feel very comfortable doing. So what should we do? How does it sound for you, Eva? Curious. Okay, um, let, let's go through these uh, responses. Uh, it's important to always prioritize your employees' interests. Now, to me, that that is a response where I'm I'm kind of um, telling what the the client should do. Um, yes, and it's um, it's not really empowering them to come up with a solution that is uh, that could help them through the this uh, dilemma. Okay, I so. And that's an easy answer for me because it's telling, as you said, instead of asking. So it's not really coaching. Yeah, it's it's a very so it's good. not a good answer. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I think I would not go with that. You should follow your gut and do what feels right. Okay, um, that is advice giving, um, and we're not consultants. We're not uh, counselors. Um, it's empowering. So it, it's empowering on the one hand, it's empowering the coach here, it's empowering the client, but on the other hand, again, it's telling instead of asking. Yeah. It, yes, there is some empowerment there. Okay. And it's also, um, okay, maybe, um, but it's a suggestion and, and it's a personal, um, I find that the, the coach is, is uh, making a personal, let's say, judgment here. Okay. Hmm. So, would you say that both of these are bad answers? Uh, the first yeah. one is the worst one? The worst one for me would be the first one, but they're both um, not coaching, let's say, um, 
responses. Yes, I agree with you. Now, C, let, let's explore the options available to you and consider the potential consequences of each. We can discuss strategies for addressing the situation with your supervisor. Now, here, um, it, it's I find that, I don't know, there's some uh, assumptions. Um, and that would depend on whether they are, you know, where the contract, uh, how the contract was set up to address the situation with the supervisor. Um, he's having difficulty with uh, with the supervisor, so I know this would put, put him in a spot, I think. Uh, you mean the, the response C? Yeah. It, to explore the avail what's available, the options that are available, and the potential consequences of each doesn't really address his um, you know the the anxiety he might have around you know this dilemma and the and the values that uh, you know are are conflicting here. If I'm being honest, I'm torn between these two. I don't. There are not bad answers, but there are not not the best answers that can be. And for me, D is is the best of these four here uh, because it's it, it's really uh, it, it shows a coaching mindset is solution oriented thinking okay um, you uh, acknowledge that uh, you know there are the issue is uh, the conflict the ethical principles um, and that's what uh, you know needs to be dealt with and needs to be explored by the uh, by the client, and it gives him um, a future, let's say, perspective on on finding a solution. And you're there to support him because you're offering guidance, um, and uh, this this to me would be a forward moving and a learning opportunity for the client in this response. Okay, then, I think we got a winner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are we, I, do we all agree on D? Yes, I think you're right. Now, so we say that response D is the best one and response A is the worst one. Yeah. yeah. Good, so moving yeah, we don't... to the next one. Okay. Please. Mm -hmm. So, the second scenario. A client is struggling with feelings of self-doubt and inadequacy. They believe they are not capable of achieving their goals. The client has a history of negative self-talk and has difficulty believing in their own abilities. Yeah, it's okay. important to always prioritize your employees' interests. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, are we seeing the options here? Okay, response A. I'm sorry. You you need to have more confidence in yourself is the first response. Response B, let's explore the origins of these self-doubts and work on overcoming them. We can use techniques like cognitive behavioral therapy to challenge negative thoughts and replace them with more positive ones. Wait, wait, wait. Are we talking about coaching here or therapy? <laughs> well, even at the start of, of, of at the beginning of the phrase, it's explore the origins of these self-doubts. I mean, that's going the wrong way. I think that's derailing. So uh, I would say that is the worst. Not that I like the, the first one, but I think response B must be the worst. I have not read the other ones, however. So which are the other ones, Eleni? Uh, response C, it's okay to feel unsure sometimes. Everyone experiences self-doubt. And sure. response... Uh, yes, sorry, Evan? No, fine, go ahead. Okay. In response D, I believe in you. You have the potential to achieve great things. Okay. So response A. Um, I, for me, that's the worst. You need to have more confidence in yourself. Uh, uh, it's. I think it's really um, patronizing the client. You know, I mean, um, uh, it's, it's judging them. It's. Um, 
it's really a very, uh, it's, it's a closed-ended question, okay, no doubt. But, um, okay, uh, it's telling again. It's telling. You need to have more confidence in yourself. Okay. So what? Uh, doesn't really solve his, uh, the issue here. It doesn't address the issue. Um, I'm not sure I would agree with you. It's a bad one, but I don't think it's the worst one. Because the second one is not coaching, because it says, let's explore the origins. So going in the past, that's not coaching. And no, that's, they that's suggest therapy. They do therapy instead of coaching. So I think that's an ethical breach. It's as yes. serious as an ethical breach. So I, say, I would say response B is the absolute worst one. Okay. And response A is not a good one. I don't like that either, but it's not an ethical breach. You need to have more confidence in yourself. Well, again, it's telling instead of asking. Maybe I wouldn't say judgmental because intention here is probably right. Um, the coach needs, uh, wants to empower the client, but of course, they're not doing that in uh, the best way. Um, and how about the other, the two, two ones, the other ones, they are response C and response D, but well, uh, let's see which one is the best one. Okay, well, it's okay to feel unsure. Sometimes everyone experiences self-doubt. That is uh, empathizing with the client. Um, and um, uh, just acknowledging, you know, his, uh, his situation. Um, but it's, it's my opinion. I mean, you know, uh, it's, I think it's also an, uh, an opinion that's stated here. Um, everyone experienced self-doubt. Okay. Generalization. So I, to me, that's, that would not be a, a good response. What would be a good response for you? I believe in you. You have the potential to achieve great things because it's building trust and yes. it's showing um, that it isn't that a little bit cheerleading. I believe in you. You have the potential to achieve great things. Well, it, I I'm not. This is a, a tricky by one. Any one of those. I wouldn't say these are, well, this is great coaching. No. Um, uh, I, yeah. Go ahead. I mean, but if I was uh, in the client's shoes and my coach was saying, it's okay to feel unsure sometimes. No, that, that's, that's supportive, I think, yeah. I would think that's supportive. So it dials it down and perhaps allows more space to start having the conversation that will explore reality, evoking awareness, and so on. Yeah, I think it's, it's a um, better start. Mm, what do yeah, you think? it's yeah, uh, uh, and it's norm, not uh, normalizing. I'm looking at the word, but yeah, in a way, yeah, normalizing. Like it's okay. Um, you're telling the client that uh, you're telling you're ask you're supporting the client that it's okay to be to feel that um, you're um, acknowledging their feelings, okay, which um, really does build trust and it does build uh, you know uh, it shows uh, empathy that uh, uh, you're with them you're there you understand their situation. Uh, yeah, so maybe, that would be that would be the best out of all of these, I think. I, I agree with you. Uh, and on the other hand, uh, as I'm listening to you, I'm thinking that in this way, the coach is enable the client to reduce the self judgment. Yeah, yeah. And and get a, a, a get into a more positive stance about what they're experiencing, their reality, so they can move on and started exploring uh, options and creating awareness and going to actions, which is, well, what coaching is about. So are you happy with that? 
I, I'm happy with uh, with C given these four. Uh, and yeah. and you're right. B B would be more therapy. Um, yes. Although I I must say that you know uh, examining um, limiting you know um, or self doubt thoughts can be part of coaching too. It can be, but it was if it was about using techniques like cognitive behavioral coaching, I would start talking about that. I would say, well, maybe, perhaps. But and then again, they explore the origins of these self doubts. Yeah, the uh, yeah. No, the origins is the only word you're right that also ticked me in a way. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that that would be uh, not coaching here. Yes, because so it, it seems like that. there will be a conversation that a lot of the, of the next uh, dialogues in this conversation will be residing in the past. And yes, we need some, to create some kind of awareness. Like if it was a question like, yeah, uh, so what is the thought that is triggering what you're feeling or what you're expressing right now? So we can create awareness in the moment, not create exactly. awareness about what was happening back in my adulthood, in my childhood, and so on. Anyway, yeah. so we did two scenarios. I'm very happy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, it's very interesting. Thank you for being here. It was. I want to remind our viewers that we will be, hopefully, we'll be back for another episode. And until then, please like, share, comment uh, on this um, video and uh, of course subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell button so you can get all the notifications for our next iterations and follow us for more. Thank you very much. Thank you all very much. Until the next one. Thank you. Smiling. Thank you.